This is the fatal end to a classic story of how tough a 3.8 is. Crushed twice by a bulldozer and only one repair, a redneck piece of duct tape. Let's see if we can kill a Buick. Well, as you can see, there ain't much left and she ain't what she used to be. But ashes to ashes and rust to rust. Let's see if this thing fires up. We got a battery in, redneck gas tank. It's stuck in drive. I think it's got a little bit too much friction to go by itself. So, here we go. It won't start on full throttle mode. Try to. The Buick has officially died on fire, nope. but dead. Yeah. Here comes our loyal uh, redneck fire department. Uh oh. With the redneck fire extinguisher. What was it supposed to happen? Buick died. Like, why did this happen? The motor's not even blown. Much left since the Cressida. <laughs> they didn't take long at all. The motor's not blown. <laughs> For no, some reason, it caught fire. Not on fire. blowing out or something look it was on fire when it was leaking for some reason all that tranny oil or whatever's leaking underneath caught fire off the hot exhaust and I guess that's why it caught fire we didn't even blow a tire yet oh that's sad. that sucks I guess you can't kill a Buick 3.8 well, maybe I gotta get some more exhaust, I mean, some more uh, stuff down there. Squeeze the trigger. I think I should save my bike kit too. And battery. The battery's still good. Oh, yeah, the battery's still good. I might have to get some water. I think we got a uh, insulation fire on the firewall. Oh, well. If it ain't got fire, it ain't fun. That's all I can say.